With everything that happens inside a gym, there has been a debate that's been happening, especially after the TikTok trend appeared of, you know, the whole, let's pretend we're being creeped on by men. Hmm. Yeah, that one didn't go down quite so well and ended rather quickly, which <laughs> I'm glad about, quite frankly. Um, it was called out, it was stopped. Um, I'm glad it was. But um, there has now been a massive debate about whether or not Jim should allow phones, you know, actual mobile phones inside their gyms. Um, there's a lot of people that are calling for them to ban them. Um, but at the same time, um, there's a lot of people that need them for, you know, actual you know, work. There are personal trainers that use them for their online clients and people who actually do online training. Um there is a solution, I, re I think. Um, I do believe that gyms should do what you know most swimming pools do, most leisure centres do. You know, there's a schedule. You know, swimming pools and leisure centres they have schedules, don't they? You know, when they have aqua aerobics and aqua pool aqua lessons and you know times when the school kids can go and make use of the facilities and times when the public can go you know and I think personally that it's time now after that trend took off and ended very quickly I might add which is brilliant quite frankly um that what needs to happen to satisfy everybody, I think, is that there needs to be a scheduled time in gyms when people can go in with their phones to either film their TikToks or film their workouts or even do their online sessions. That there, there is a precedence for online gym sessions there's a precedence for online fitness there's a precedence for online you know things like that and the fact is there's a lot of trainers that utilize that and the fact is if the public want to utilize a gym and use a phone and be able to film tiktoks or film their sessions then surely then it's time that the gyms utilize this concept of a timetable i know it might interfere a little bit with you know fitness instructors but it will stop anybody from being able to sit there and go I'm going to film someone and pretend that they're doing this to me it will stop this ridiculous ideal that you can sexualize yourself for the use of you know attention at the gym you know and pretend you're what <laughs> not doing that yeah the reality is yes there are now female only gyms and there's a lot of women that you do utilize them and if there's female only gyms there should be male only gyms that's the reality there should be male only gyms you know actual gyms and not just bodybuilding gyms you know there should be it's a fact but if people want to use if members of the public want to use their mobile phones in a gym 
there should be a timetable for it where public people where members of the public can use their phones to film whatever they want to film for whatever reason they have a scheduled time and that's it and it can be daily it can be twice a day it can be weekly i don't care and it means that that particular slot is a safe space for using phones people know that if, when they go into the gym at that time People will be on their phones. The phones will be there. The people will be on them. People will be recording themselves. There will be no surprises. You can't secretly film anybody. There will be no shocks or anybody else going, oh, well, you didn't know I was filming you. Or that you can't have any of that. You know, everybody knows what's going on because in that particular point in time, you've walked into a gym you know it's scheduled. There's a timetable that says at this point of time, you are allowed to film yourself in the gym for whatever reason. And everybody should do it. It solves the problem of whether or not gym sh should ban mobile phones. They should just say... You are only allowed to record certain times. We all know harassment happens to men and women anyway. But if they're only allowed to record at set times, if they're recording outside of those set times, they are in the wrong. They're doing something illegal. You know, gyms have, rec they have security cameras. You know, and if you make it the law, if, you know, if it's absolutely mandatory for gyms, to, oh, the actual gym area, not obviously like locker rooms, but the actual gym area, you know, where all the equipment is, to have security cameras for people's safety, you know, when they're actually using the equipment, nobody will get creeped on because there's cameras when they get creeped on, there's cameras. It can be proved. It's not in the locker rooms. It's in the public areas where people will use phones at set times. So there's nothing there that says, oh, yeah, you're violating our rights. Yeah. So there is a solution. There is a way around it. And I don't know. Maybe I should start a petition. What do you think? find a way I don't know how to start a petition but I think maybe it's time we figure out a way to solve this issue so that both men and women are safe in the gyms